If you're protecting routes in your application with the layout server load, you definitely need to watch this video because just doing this, just actually checking this inside of the layout is not enough to protect your routes that fall underneath of that layout. Let's learn about why. So it certainly makes sense that inside of the layout.server.ts or .js, you would feel like, okay, this is gonna be run for every page that falls underneath this admin group here. So I can essentially just protect all the pages at once at the top level, not have to worry about it down on the page.servers. Let's see if that's actually true or not. So first we'll try to access the admin page without logging in. So let me click on this admin button here. We're gonna see that we ran an auth, layout auth check. We got access denied. And we also fetched customers from the database. What is happening here? So we look at our admin page, the page.server. We're actually getting customers from a database. Pretend like this is a database, okay? And we're turning those back to the browser. So if I got denied, why did I still fetch customers from the database? Well, that's because all the load functions are run at the same time in parallel. And you can look at the Spellkit documentation at parallel loading and you will see. So this page.server doesn't even know that you're not authenticated. It's going to run this load function regardless. So we're making a call to our database without even being logged in. So that's one concern right there immediately, right? But that's not the worst of it. So let's go ahead and log in now. And now you can see I'm logged in as a user. Remember, I'm protecting my routes with this layout here. I'm checking to see if the user exists. If not, they can't access anything that falls under this admin group here. So when I go to the admin page, we'll see that we did in fact run the layout auth check again, and we fetched customers from the database. So now we have a list of our customers here. Let's pretend like we're a bank. These are all of our customers. You're one of the bank administrators. You have access to all their sensitive information. Let's look at Marcel Jones here. We can click on it. We can see that we fetched customer ID, but if you noticed, we didn't run another auth check, right? So really every time you're accessing a resource that is protected, whether that's a database call, whether that's a page with data on your page that's supposed to be sensitive and you have to be authenticated to see it, you should be running a request to your server to check to see, is that user actually valid? Is that actually who is supposed to be seeing this information? And we'll see that concern right here. So um, I'm going to go back to my admin route and in another tab over here, let's just refresh the page and I go to admin. You're going to see that we got the ran layout auth check again. We fetch customers from the database. But let's actually just log out over here. Okay, so that seemed to work, right? We got redirected back to the home page, And if we look here, it should have removed our cookie. So now let's go back to this tab here where we're still on the admin page. And let's refresh our cookies to see if we still have one. We do not. So think, imagine this is the cookies expired or we just revoked rights away from this user altogether, but they just so happen to have a browser tab up on the admin page. Well, we never looked at Asunta Roth's information. So let's just click on this. Okay. We can still access this customer's information. We didn't run another auth check and we fetched this customer from a database. Okay, let's go back to the admin page. Well, what do you know? We fetched customers from the database again. So it's not like this data is stale and that it's been there since they first logged in. No, every time I navigate between these different, this user here or this customer and back to the admin, I'm refetching a fresh list of customers without being logged in. And if I had further nested pages or other pages within this admin directory here, I can navigate to those two just fine because it's only running whenever we first load this page. Now, if we look here, if we look at Marcel Jones and we have admin slash 11, now if I hard refresh this page, it's gonna log me out. You're gonna see that it reran the layout auth check. But within a client side navigation, it's not actually gonna rerun that load function every single time. So don't worry, all is not lost. There is something that we can do, but I wanna make sure that everybody, if you are using layouts and you prefer to do it this way, you don't prefer the way that I showed in my previous video with hooks, you need to make sure that you're also doing this next step. So let us log back out here. Let's go back to the home page, make sure everything's good. Let's refresh so we have a clean terminal. Inside of our page.servers, on every page.server, what we wanna do is we want to take in locals. So let's make this asynchronous first, and we'll take in parent, I, I apologize, I said locals, I meant parent, and we're gonna say await parent. And what this is going to do is it's going to return data from parent layout.server.js load functions, which means it's gonna call this load function here, which should in turn hit this and then throw the redirect. But if we notice here, there's a little bit of a warning, be careful not to introduce accidental waterfalls. If for example, you only wanna merge parent data into the returned output, call it after fetching your other data. In this case, we don't want to merge it. We want to call it before we fetch any data from our database to make sure that this user does in fact have the ability to do so. So we can say await parent here. 
And now if we log in and we go to the admin page, you'll see that the layout auth check was ran and we fetched customers from the database. If we go to one of the customers, you can see that we didn't run the auth check this time. But if we go back to admin, you can see that we did in fact run that layout auth check again. So that means we need to add this parent also to our customer ID page dot server and make this asynchronous. And now when I go to one of the customers, I'm gonna run the layout auth check. And so if I delete my token here again, like I did before when I logged out and I tried to access Trace Douglas, I'm gonna get redirected. Now I can't get back to that page, right? So that's how you wanna do it if you are so set on using layouts. Again, I think defining it in the hooks for a mass group of, lay of routes makes things super easy. But I also would just encourage you to, to actually make sure you're getting that auth state on every single page that server. Same thing with the actions themselves as well. You wanna make sure that you're checking that auth state on every single action and not just relying on a single layout server load function to cover your entire auth for your application. So just so you're aware, this isn't only my way of thinking. I'm not the only one that has awareness of this issue. There is an issue open on the Svelkit GitHub repo, issue number 6315. And it's scheduled, I believe, for the post 1.0 milestone where they're going to be addressing this. And you can see some comments here from some of the maintainers as well as Rich Harris himself. So definitely go check this issue out. I'll leave it down in the description below for you to read through. And that's gonna conclude today's video. So I hope that this shorter video was helpful to some of you and kind of was able to make you aware of something you may not have been aware of before. If you got value out of this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, don't forget that we have a Discord community that's growing. We have over 200 members now at this point. So please hop in there if you have any questions, concerns, comments about this video. We're more than happy to address them in there. And I will see you all in the next video.